Hey everyone, it's your girlie princess 28 I'm coming at you today with my November updates. Okay, so, um, you know, I posted that video on how I'm starting my waist length journey. Thanks to those of you who commented and thumbs up the video in support of this new adventure. Um, okay, so I did read through the comments and, you know, a lot of you said that I should check in once a month and a lot of you said I should check in once every three months well i decided to do both um i'm gonna check in once a month um to let you guys know what i'm doing for that month in terms of the journey and um i'm gonna do my length updates once every three months because i agree with the majority of you who said that once a month length update is a bit obsessive so um what am i doing for the month of november okay so i mentioned in that video that i was going to try to experiment with more protective style so um, this month, my protective style for the month of November was uh, two strand twists. So um, I don't know if you guys recall, but I did a video toot on two strand twists some years ago now. Um, in that video, when I twisted my hair, I twisted my hair while it was wet. And um, it took me about an hour or so to do. And that was a style that I love doing. And I uh, would keep the twists in for, I think, just about a week or so. Um, well, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on two strand twists. And I have to say that... Um, at least for me, whenever I type in two strand twist, um, what seems to come up is a lot of videos of ladies who um, have a tighter curl pattern than, than myself. Um, I don't see too many people with my curl pattern rocking two strand twists. Um, and like I said, that, just, that could just be me. But um, one thing that I've noticed for my hair, I notice that my hair doesn't like to stay twisted um, for very long. Because a lot of the ladies who twist their hair, they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to leave my two strand twist in for a month. Um, I barely got two weeks out of it. Um, I think actually technically I got maybe like 11 days out of it, but um, I was trying to go for two weeks. But anyway, um, you know, I just learned that, you know, my two strand twists may not look like everybody else's, but I still rock them and I make them work for me. So this time, however, instead of doing it on wet hair, um, I air dried my hair and then I um, sectioned it in small sections and twisted it and I used some twist and lock gel because in the past I was using this heavy cream that had like some um, beeswax in it but I found this nice gel I think it's by Murray's it's called twist and lock gel it smells fantastic and um, I just put a, a little bit of that on each section and twisted it so this time it took me three hours to twist my hair so I was really gonna make sure that I got some mileage out of it by investing that much time I had to put together a few video clips and pictures just so you can see how I cared for my two strand twists. Okay, so in order to make my two strand twists truly a protective style, um, I didn't wear them down, uh, at least initially when I did them. Um, instead, I put them up in high ponytail and twisted them and then put them in a bun. So that way my ends were completely protected. And also, I noticed that when I first do my twists, just like a lot of times when you first get braids, um, you know, the hair is very stiff and I just don't like that stiff look, and which is another reason why I didn't wear them down. Um, so yeah, I just put them in a bun and this is how I wore it for a few days. And all I did was went in with some gel just to, um, you know, smooth down the little beady beads in the back. And um, I often put some around the perimeter as well. So this is what my twists look like in the protective style. And as for maintenance, um, five days in to wearing the style, I did a co-wash. So this is me after the co-wash. The first thing that I did, which is what I do on a daily basis, was go in with some of, some of my Bronner Bros um, hair grease. And I went around my edges just to keep those um, nourished because that's a part of this journey as well. Still trying to grow out those edges. And then um, I also went in with some more of the twist and lock gel that I was referring to earlier in the video because some of my twists got became loose um, around the um, near the scalp at the roots. So like I said, my hair doesn't seem to like to stay twisted. So I just went back in and just um, you know twisted it around uh, itself just to tighten it a bit. And then like this twist right here came out completely. So I had to go ahead and retwist this one. So once I had finished tightening up a lot of the twists, I went in with some pure coconut oil just to seal in moisture. And um, I just rubbed some between the palm of my hands and applied them uh, mainly to the ends of the twists. Um, but I also just um, 
basically distributed some through the length of the twist. And I started on the underside and then I flipped my head back over and applied some to the top side. Okay, so after sealing in moisture, then um, I went ahead and styled the hair. This is what it looked like um, down, and I liked it a lot better uh, the way it looked down after the co-wash, because like I said, it just got rid of some of that stiffness. But um, I actually didn't wear it down. This is how I wore it the majority of the time. Um, I like to uh, leave some of the twists hanging in the front, and then I took the majority of my hair and twisted it up and secured it with, I can't remember what you call these clips. I guess they're called like a claw or I call them butterfly clips just because they look like butterflies. But anyway, this is how I wore my twist. And I've also provided a few pics just so you can get a better look at this do. I ended up doing two co-washes within the two weeks that I wore the twist. But to keep my hair moisturized, um, I sprayed my um, twist with some water, which is what you see me doing here. And then I sealed in that moisture with um, the pure coconut oil. Now I have to be honest and say that I didn't moisturize my hair daily, um, but rather I did it once every two to three days. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, um, I kept my two strand twist in for about two weeks and then to take them down, I just did my regular um, extra virgin olive oil pre-poo treatment and the olive oil really helped um, you know, me unravel my twists. It loosened up my hair, provided me the slip to detangle. So as I mentioned in my Q&A volume 8 video, which if you haven't seen, please check it out. Um, whenever I do my pre-poo olive oil treatments, I typically do it the night before wash day. So I slept with the oil in my hair and then the next morning I shampooed it out and I did a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment. So that's another thing that I've been doing to help me on this journey. I've been deep conditioning my hair after every shampoo. Now I do a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment after every shampoo and especially before I heat style my hair and the only time I do my protein treatments is after I've straightened my hair so if I um, I've been only straightening my hair on average once a month heat or any chemical process can is what kind of takes protein out of your hair so I feel like once I've um, heat styled my hair that's when I need to put uh, protein back in it so um, so I'm basically doing a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment four times a month and a protein treatment on average once a month. Um, now, technically I'm due for a trim November 25th, but I don't plan on straightening my hair this month. Um, so what I have in my hair now are some flat twists in the front and then just my um, natural curls. Now, um, I have to say thank you to those of you who recommended the Hawaiian Silky Curl Activator Gel. That's what I've been using. Um, after I washed my hair, I just sealed in moisture with um, pure coconut oil, and then I scrunched my curls and distributed the um, the uh, Curl Activator Gel in it. And um, the Hawaiian Silky is really good at sealing in moisture, which is what a lot of you told me, and you guys were so right. Um, as far as maintenance, um, I love this style, these flat twists, because all I have to do at night is I take my satin scarf and I wrap it around I put my ponytail up high like this and I first wrap it around the flat twist so that you know they stay secure and I tie it and then once I have all my hair up like this then I take my my satin bonnet and put it on top and then I just took this down and I didn't have to do anything to my hair this morning um, I just fluffed up my curls but I didn't even apply water today because like I said the Hawaiian Silky the curl activator gel is um, it locks in moisture so that you don't have to necessarily reapply it daily like like I would with the um, Hawaiian Silky Lotion 14 and 1. So um, that's pretty much it. This month is all about twists, two strand twists, now the flat twists. I'm twisting my hair however it could be twisted. That's what I'm doing for the month of November. Um, and like I said, since I'm not straightening my hair this month, I'm not going to be trimming it. And I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to trim my ends to do my length update in December or trim my ends and do my length update in January so I'll have to see how that goes but um anyway I just wanted to share this with you guys I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration if I don't see you before then um and until next time peace and blessings